everyone and welcome to my channel today is saturday isabel here and uh, we are going to be talking about christmas once more yay and please remember that this is uh, uh, for the hashtag christmas tag makes 2021 and if you use that hashtag not only here on youtube but also on instagram you're gonna find amazing stuff and ideas so for today i have three different things that i want to talk to you about only one christmas idea because this took me like uh, a very long time and uh, honestly i need to keep up with everything that i have on my table remember that i'm uh, working on the um, disney princesses rolodex cards i am also working on my december daily and uh, I have another big project that I want to share with you this coming week. And I also need to work on the Christmas uh, tags and ideas for every week. So, oh my goodness, I need more hours in my days. But I'm so happy to be here. And um, one of the icons that I love during Christmas are angels. And uh, I also love making... Uh, dolls using fabric and i don't know if you're familiar with this uh, uh with these dolls they are known by tilda's uh dolls and they are super beautiful i have uh several books and uh, they come with the patterns and with all the ideas of how you can create these beautiful dolls so far i have uh, made um three dolls and one bunny and um, I was going through this one that is called Winter Delights. And I found that this idea is super beautiful for creating angels. And look at this. Aren't they just adorable? And you are supposed to create a garland with these beautiful angels. And look at this. You are supposed to use uh, doily paper. And here in the book you you find the... Uh, the image for the angel and the rose and uh, here it is look at this super super adorable and uh, I have no idea what this is uh, okay so what I did is that I uh, made some copies uh, so I can keep my original because I mean they are super beautiful and uh, what they tell you is that you use a, a paper doily you use these uh, roses as decoration and uh, you need to cut in the dark line all around okay and also that you can use uh, glitter glue to decorate the tops okay so i made my copies but for some reason my my copier machine made my copies a little bit darker but it's okay but look at this super cute and adorable so what you do is that you get a a, a doily paper and it is super simple because what you do is that you fold it in half and then with your scissors you just cut a slit over here so you can put the doll through the uh, center of your doily and then you glue it trying to create some pleats to create a beautiful skirt so look at this one and uh, remember that in one of my whole videos I showed you these uh, ribbons that I found at the thrift store so I'm using these because they are like really thin and they are super adorable and I was reading the um, the labels on these and it says that it, they are hand dyed so it is super cute and adorable i love 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 this so that's what i used and then because we are talking about christmas i didn't want to use the rose that comes in the pattern but i used these uh, uh, 3d stickers that i had on my stash and i'm pretty sure that i got this from hobby lobby like three years ago and um so this is the back and this is the front and the, I think they look just adorable. I use my glitter glue over here and this is the one that you pick from Michaels. 
super cute and so look at this she has this pink ribbon because the top was pink but once you use the glitter glue it changes the color so it was supposed to be pink then this one is like this dark red and then I have this like teal greenish something like that and if you see I have this uh, skirt is uh, different because of the way I folded the doily but I think they look just adorable and I love the idea of them bringing the wings however you know me right now I love putting my twist in every idea so I created this following the instructions in the book but then I created another set of three with my own twist and look at this oh my goodness I love 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 these angels so what I did with these beautiful ones is that I trimmed the, um, the wings I trimmed these wings and I wanted them to be a little bit like wider and bigger so what I did is that I used this beautiful Christmas paper with some text and then let me show you I used this die and these are the wings that I used this set over here this is a Taris die, super adorable, love the wings, but I use this one over here, okay? So as you can see, nothing fancy or complicated, and look at this. Remember the fabric that I showed you in one of my hauls? So this is the fabric. I used three different colors, and all I did was to tear it with my fingers like paper because I wanted this texture on the uh, skirt and look at this and since this looks like very uh, homemade and uh, very homespun I decided to use my jute to create the bow and look at this super super adorable and if you want to know how I create the bows I'm going to show you today because they are super simple this is the jute that I use and this one comes from the dollar store and what I do is that I just use my two hands and I go depending on how full you want your bow this is going to be you need to wrap it around your fingers like this just making sure that you have the same amount of, of loops here and here and then you trim over here and let's make one let's see as you see i have one two three four and here i have one two three four so they are the same amount of loops in each side so you're gonna cut it over here and then you're gonna cut another piece and uh, if you see you don't need a fancy tool to create your your bows just your fingers and look at this double knot to secure it and ta-da these are my bows how cool is that isn't it so easy and I think they are so elegant and so beautiful I love 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 look at this then you can add over here a bead, you can add a flower, a button. As always, the sky is the limit. And this is the same technique that I use for every single bow that I create with jute, ribbon, fabric, um, whatever I have on hand to create my bows. So look at this. Super adorable, right? Okay. So uh, to them, I also added this uh, sticker, like this one, and look at this, super adorable, I'm using the whole image, and if you see, this is where I added the, the new wings, and of course I used one of these uh, uh, safety pins 
and I added this charm over here. She has a bow. Uh, this one has a Christmas tree. And this one has a candy cane. Because I think that they look just adorable. And of course, if you want, you can add another piece of jute over here and use them as uh, ornaments in your Christmas tree. Or what about adding them on top of a tag, on top of a card, and they will be amazing, just amazing. So this is my idea for today. I really hope that you like it um, because I'm in love with these angels. They are like super beautiful. I love, love, love them. So now we're going to talk about something else. I'm going to put these beautiful ladies over here. And uh, uh, remember that I showed you these big gingerbreads that I picked from uh, the dollar store. And I was asking for suggestions on how to take this off because I want to uh, use uh, fabric. And I just want to uh, report that I have failed. <laughs> and this one kind of broke, so I'm going to put it back with my glue. But believe me, they are like really, really glued. And since this wood is uh, very thin, I didn't want to take the risk to continue doing the other parts so right now I'm trying to figure out how is it that I'm gonna be using fabric but if you were waiting uh, on how this went don't even try because it is gonna uh, break your gingerbread into pieces and we don't want that okay so this is just for you to know the other thing that I want to share with you today is this beautiful container and uh, just let me see something because I want to adjust my camera and I'm sorry for the shadow but otherwise you won't be able to look at this look at this this is a plastic container that I've had here on my craft room for a very long long time and I found this one at the container store and uh, this is a beautiful container because it is full of compartments and this is how I store all of my gingerbreads as you can see here I have the newest edition and these are the wooden ones that you can find at the dollar store this house over here are paper I mean cardstock and they come from Michaels you can find them this year these are wooden and these ones, I picked them at uh, AC Moore before they closed. Uh, the same thing with these uh, cookies over here. These big ones and the small ones, they come from AC Moore. I also have these other ones. And I'm pretty sure that I got these. Oh my goodness. No, I can't tell you because I don't remember. But look at this. There are... Uh, wooden pieces too and I also have these ones over here and these ones I'm pretty sure that I picked them up from Michaels last year here I have some uh, buttons in two different styles and look at this super adorable and I have this one that smells totally to ginger uh, bread and this is like an ornament from Yankee Candle super cute and I keep him over here because it smells amazing then in one of the arms I have these other uh, cookies and these are cardstock and they come in the same package as the house so remember you can pick this uh, Michaels this year and I also have these uh, gingers made out of uh, regular craft cardstock and these ones are created using my Cricut machine the same thing with these ones look at this super cute this one uh, is also made using my Cricut machine this one too look at that so adorable and look at these tiny ones super cute I'm pretty sure that this one and these ones are from a cartridge called 
paper dolls dress up or something like that and then this one over here is from the cartridge called gingerbread super adorable and uh, this one is just a piece of ephemera that I found in some package I can't remember exactly which one and then I have some foam stickers over here and look at these cuties so adorable I think that these are either from AC Moore or the dollar store I also have these ones and I think that this might be from Michaels and look at that super cute and adorable and I also have look at this these are from the dollar store and these I'm pretty sure that they are also from the dollar store and look at that super adorable these are all my foam and felt stickers and here I have felt stickers poppy stickers glitter stickers and uh, this one let me just grab a piece of paper This is from Michaels last year, super adorable. This one is from AC Moore, super cute. And then I have this one and this is from Hobby Lobby last year, I guess, or two years ago. And uh, I have these tiny ones and these are from, um, I think they are either doodle charms or uh, pebbles and then I have this other one that I can't remember uh, the name of the stickers but these are 3D super adorable and so this is my precious collection of uh, gingerbreads that I use um, when sending happy mail or creating pocket letters or tags or something like that. So this is my huge gingerbread holding all of my cuties, okay? And then last but not least, and just let me adjust my camera once more. And there we go. I wanted to tell you an amazing story. Look at this rubber stamp. Super amazing and this is from Printworks. It's a 1998 Annette Allen Watkins and I love her stamps and I didn't know that this one existed but this is super cute and I was able to pick this one from eBay a couple of years ago and then I went on the hunt for the boy and guess what? This week I was able to find him. Look at him! So adorable and I'm very happy because I was able to complete my couple over here. So of course I'm going to be working on these two this week. So ladies, this is my share for today and I really hope that you enjoyed everything that I shared uh, with you. And that you love these beautiful angels because I really do. They are super amazing. I love them. They are the same image in two different styles. And I think that I nailed it, if I say so myself. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to share uh, this video with your friends, please do so. I will appreciate that very much. But in the meantime, thank you so very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Remember to always have a big smile and let's create something beautiful this week. I will be seeing you very soon. Bye.